Hi, welcome back to English Recaps. Today, I'm going to explain action thriller movie called Mongol, The Rise of Genghis Khan. Watch out and support this new movie channel. The film story begins in 1172, and we're shown a kingdom. There were many tribes in this kingdom whose leaders were called Khans, but these leaders don't get along with each other for this reason. They often have a war between them, we're shown a tribe, its leader goes out to find the wife of his nine-year-old son. His son's name was Temujin. After traveling all day Temujin's father goes to his friend, there, Temujin meets a girl who was named Borte. She asked why you'd come here, and he tells that, I've come here to find my wife, Borte says alright, then you should marry me, and after saying this, she goes from there, at night, Temujin's dad tells him. I'm looking for a girl for you who is from a well-known tribe, on which he tells his dad that I'll find a girl for me, in the morning, Temujin's dad keeps all the girls from his friend's tribe in front of him, Borte was also there among these girls, and Temujin chooses her, they've been married to each other. But they could live with each other after five years, because it was a custom of their tribe, while going, Temujin gifts a locket to Borte, he tells her that I'll soon return to you, and we'll surely meet, after saying this. He goes with his dad, after reaching a far distant area, they stay at a place and have some rest. They noticed that there was another tribe. There, their leader sends a milk cup for Temujin's dad, that depicts the message that they want to make them friends. That tribe offers them friendship. In exchange for this, Temujin's dad also sends him a milk cup, the companion of Temujin's father, informs him that he must make someone else drink the milk first, but he wants to win the heart of the tribe's leader and drinks all the milk alone, as they move ahead, Temujin's dad falls down from his horse and dies, here it comes to know that it was a trap from that tribe's leader. He sent the milk that was mixed with poison, after the death of Temujin's dad, after leaving his dead body there, all of his tribesmen leave, according to them, if they want to survive, they must be living after being a part of any powerful tribe. After the death of Temujin's dad, his special man takes them to a place, along with this, he takes control of all the animals. When that special man was going, Temujin's mom tells him, you're not doing well, one day my son will kill you when he'll grow up. He'll take revenge on you, and the man becomes afraid, he thinks probably the boy will kill me after growing up. For this reason, he decides to kill Temujin, but it was a tradition among the people of their tribe, they don't kill women and children. For this reason, the man measures the height of Temujin, he was measuring his height from a wheel, but Temujin was much little from this and he was freed after being declared a child, the man tells Temujin's mom while going the I'll surely come to kill Temujin next year, the time goes ahead and winter come, Temujin has no place to hide because the winter have started, he remembers his father telling him that our gods are in the far off mountains, they help us in our troublesome times, and Temujin chooses to go there, however, while going there his feet comes on the frozen water, he falls into the water, and he was going to kick the bucket while suffocating, in the meantime, a kid comes there and recovers him in the wake of hauling him out of the water, the kid takes him with him, Temujin says thanks to him for saving his life, the more youthful sibling of that youngster was likewise there, the two of them blend their blood into the milk subsequent to cutting their hands, they request that he take this, and you'll turn into our sibling after this, Temujin takes that milk and presently three of them have become siblings, the following morning, the man additionally comes there while finding him, who was his father's sidekick, his exceptional man, he finds Temujin and he takes him with him, subsequent to taking him, he measure his length once more, and he was close to nothing, the man chooses to make Temujin detain till the time when he grows up, he puts a wooden noose around his neck and detains him, there was a man in this clan who day to day takes care of Temujin with food and puts a swathe on his injuries, Time elapses along these lines, and the one who detained him, when he measure his level, Temujin was still too little. At some point, it was pouring vigorously, and every one individuals went into their tents, the one who dealt with him, and took care of him, makes the most of this, and liberates Temujin, he requests that he take off, and he runs with the weighty noose, he comes to far away while taking off, he reaches to that lord of the mountain about everything that his dad said to him. There he sees a wolf, and his wooden noose consequently breaks, the story pushes forward, and we see Temujin has grown up now. 
He was all the while getting away from individuals who were his father's companion's men, they were pursuing him since his young life. Regardless, they were a mind-blowing foes, at long last, they get him, and they detained him similarly, as he was. Detained in his experience growing up with a weighty wooden noose, the level and period of Temujin both have expanded, and his demise opened doors additionally, yet the man lets him know that he'll not kill him as of now. I want you to beg for your life in front of me, he replies to him that I'll die happily, but will never ask for this, hearing this. The man says all right, I wanted to kill you comfortably, now, I'll torture you to death. Later, Temujin was again tied up. The same man comes to him who used to feed him in his childhood, he was still alive, one day when they were celebrating with that man. Hood captured Temujin, and he comes to him after being intoxicated, Temujin takes advantage of this and kills. Him with his neck noose, that man has died, now, he was free, and first of all, he goes to meet his wife, Borte, with whom, he got married in his childhood, Borte has also grown up and becomes beautiful as well, after taking Borte with him. He goes to his sister and mother, when Temujin's mother sees that her son is alive, she becomes happy, they were leading a happy life, and suddenly the people from another tribe attack them, because some time ago, Temujin's father had kidnapped the mother of this tribe's leader, at that time, this leader was too young and now he has grown up. He has vowed that he'll surely take revenge for his mother, for this reason, he kidnaps Temujin's wife and takes her with him. Because Temujin alone wasn't sufficient to fight with them, for this reason, he goes to his brother for help. Hood made him drink his blood mixed in the milk in his childhood, he had also become a powerful leader of a tribe. When Temujin tells him about his wife, he tells him that we need one year to fight with that tribe, because they're quite powerful, and we've to make our people strong, similarly, days, months. And a year passed, Temujin attacks that tribe with his brother, they killed everyone, and Temujin finds his wife, Borte, in a tent, now, she was going to become the mother of the tribe's leader, despite this, Temujin loves her and hugs her. Whatever he got after killing that tribe, he distributes everything among the people who were fighting with him, he also gives a share to the families of those who were killed while fighting with him, seeing his kind-heartedness. The people of his brother's tribesmen also join him, Temujin has made a strong tribe when his brother sees this. He started to hate Temujin, one day, Temujin's people see his brother's companions, who were stealing their horses. A man attacks them with an arrow, a man was hit by an arrow, and as they go to check, he was no one else but the elder brother of his brother, who has now started hating Temujin, as he learns that Temujin's people have killed his brother, he becomes furious. By making an agreement with all tribes around, he decides to fight a war against Temujin, Temujin knows that he couldn't win the war, so, after sending the women and children aside, he fights a war against them after taking his several companions, and he was defeated on which his brother has imprisoned him. He doesn't kill him because he still considers him his brother, but his brother sells him to the people of a different tribe, they take him with them, and after traveling a lot, he was brought to an enormous city, and after they brought him, they caused him to sit some place. So anybody could get him yet nobody gets him. At some point, the lord of this kind gom sees him, he gets him, and makes him secured in an enclosure that was in the city. So individuals could ridicule him and could put their outrage on him, he was made an exhibition there. A man used to come to Temujin day to day, he was embarrassed about his kin's way of behaving, he is sorry to Temujin. And he requested that that man do an errand for him, give the memento to my better half. I guarantee that I'll not hurt your city or anybody from your city, the elderly person goes looking for his significant other, while strolling for a long time, the elderly person bites the dust subsequent to being swooned due to the hotness of the desert, yet fortunately that memento was shipped off Borte that Temujin had given her in his experience growing up, from this. She discovers that Temujin is as yet alive, in the wake of knowing this, she arrives at that city while finding Temujin. She liberates Temujin subsequent to paying off a warrior there. He sees that he had a child and a more youthful little girl. Now that their family was complete, everyone was happy. One day, Temujin's wife tells him that all the leaders are similar. They kill each other, and Temujin thinks this a lot, and goes after leaving his family. 
He decides that he'll make a Mongol kingdom while uniting everyone, he has decided and has to unite all the kingdoms at any cost. He has made three rule, the first was not to kill children and women. The second rule was to fight with the enemy till the last breath, the last was that no one will deceive his leader. In 1196, we're shown that Temujin has done whatever he thought, he has made his army. There was only one hindrance to becoming his king, that was his brother who too has a big army, both come to fight with their armies. Temujin doesn't want to fight with his brother, but his brother attacks him suddenly. A huge war breaks out but Temujin won that war, he has imprisoned his brothers. Companions, he doesn't kill them but also joins them in his army, now, it has become a great army. Temujin goes to his brother and tells him that we'll not get anything after the fight, we'll be killed while making our kingdoms bigger. His brother tells him if I were you I would have killed that captured army, Temujin and his thinking was quite different. He has lost everything because of his thinking, whereas Temujin has got everything because of his thinking, later. Temujin forgives his brother and leaves him, later, we're shown the scene of 1206, he has become the king of his kingdom. Mongol, he had been known as Genghis Khan up until now, he fights many wars against all the oppressing kingdoms. The world knows him for his bravery and mighty, the story of Temujin's bravery ends here, thanks for watching.